continuity is going to be a flipping nightmare with this one. So it hasn't stopped raining. It was raining all day yesterday. It's rained all day today, but it's not been a complete write-off today. I have, I have filmed one video this morning in the van, which was editing an image that I took, which you may have seen. And uh, yeah, I went for a walk and fell over. I just slipped in the mud. Nearly broke my wrist. And if I'd have rolled a little bit, it would have been certain death. But now it has stopped raining and I actually have a plan for the day. I've been looking on Twitter, because I mentioned in another video that I, um, well, I had a guidebook and it was the only thing I left behind, <laughs> which, uh, yeah, which is a bit annoying. It was a proper like landscape photographer's guide to North Wales by Simon Kitchen, I think his name is. And- uh, Think has connected to your phone and is reminding you that emergency assistance yeah. is set to off. And yeah, the book was awesome, and I forgot it! So I turned to Twitter, asked people's advice. I've been given so many locations, and it was so difficult for me to decide. But, over a full English breakfast, and a cup of instant coffee, I've decided. So let's go. See these? Sunglasses. Sunglasses! So, oh dear, look at my hair. It's terrible, all this life on the road. Ugh, makes you all grimy. Right, to the beach. This is just beautiful. I had so many suggestions on Twitter and this was one of them and yeah, I'm not sure who suggested this. I really should should find out, shouldn't I? Hang on. Um, okay. It was thank you to at TYF Snowdonia for suggesting the dunes here at this wonderful beach. Um, the reason I decided to come to this location above any other location is because sometimes I just want open space. And we really have that here. You know, this is just, there's nothing around, there's nobody around. Complete, open, beautiful sand. The tide is coming in, which is a shame. I really would like to shoot this low tide at sunset. Um, I think we're gonna be sort of mid to high tide at sunset. But I just, I love simplicity and open, calm spaces. So if I can find a single subject, whether that's a rock, some shapes in the sand, some textures, something like that, something to focus the eye on, something to draw the viewer in, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'll be hoping to shoot. Uh, and we'll have the sun setting over the Lynn Peninsula and it should be really nice. So I'm just gonna walk for miles, <laughs> miles and miles because I can, and just see if I can find anything. <sighs> yeah, this is gorgeous. I'm having uh, I'm having doubts now. I, I was walking in a northerly direction along the beach this way, and I've been walking for a while. But there's n there's nothing. I don't know. I know. I said I wanted nothing. <laughs> But yeah, I've cut a little rock or a little, you know, a little estuary, well, not an estuary, but you know, a little inlet would be nice, but I can see and there's nothing. But back this way to the south, there was definitely uh, more in the way of little tide pools and little runoffs into the water, so. Uh, but then if I go back this way, I know for a fact that we have a huge estuary where there might be lovely sweeping leading lines. We're probably talking at least a mile that way. Or, 
a mile that way. These are the decisions we have to make. Uh, life and death. I'm sticking with North. I'm sticking with North. It's the way I've been walking and it's the way I shall continue. As is always the case with working on the coastline, you always have to fight the tides. And that's why I love the coast, because you get the ebb and flow of the tide and it's constantly changing. And exactly what's it's changing right now as I'm trying to shoot these images and record this video. So continuity is going to be a flipping nightmare with this one. I found this wonderful piece of sand that the tide had yet to claim and it formed this kind of, it just formed these lovely abstract shapes as the water swirls around the sand, um, almost like a zigzag leading out to this gorgeous sky. I mean, we're far away, you know, it's quite away from sunset. Um, but we've got, oh, hang on, sorry, my bag. Oh, I had to rescue my bag because it was like 50 feet that way, which is where I was shooting. Oh, right, anyway. We've got this strip of sand that the water has yet to claim and as a result it's given us lovely shapes so it's not just sand, sea, sky it's kind of sand, sea, sand, sea, sky and it's just lovely. I've dropped a 10 stop filter in because having the long exposure just gives this beautiful kind of um, artistic, minimalist, soft, gentle feel to the image and it's all about abstract shapes and the lines and the light in the sky. I mean, I'm shooting straight into the sun. It's very, very difficult to manage those highlights, but ah, it's good fun. It's really good fun. So I'm going to continue to shoot this because the tide, I cannot tell you, it's moving so fast. And oh, beautiful. So we'll, uh, I'll probably shoot the image and then maybe talk you through the settings after. I've got the photograph. If that's okay, if you don't mind. The tide just came in and washed away the one bit of beach that was holding together my comp composition. This is so difficult and so frustrating. Ah, right, I think we have to move down the beach and just keep fighting this tide. So I'm happy to report that I finally got an image that I was happy with that made use of this beautiful light over the Lynn Peninsula. And it wasn't actually the sweeping shapes that I initially thought I was going to shoot. In fact, what I noticed was where, where my tripod was set was all of this sand that was incredibly bumpy and knobbly. And I didn't like that, it looked dirty, it didn't look clean and smooth, like, which is the sort of image I had in my mind. So I walked through the water to an area, the only area of dry sand, and where the water had come in and then receded out again left this beautiful arc in the sand. So you had the wonderful sky and then this arc of reflective glass-like texture on the sand and then you had this section of dry sand itself with these beautiful textures on and it's a simple composition which is great because that's exactly why I wanted to come to this location a simple composition and I fired the shutter and got the image and I would love to recreate b-roll of me doing it but the second after I took that photograph it's gone absolutely taken by the tide which is kind of nice it's kind of nice in a way um, if you're interested technically I'll, I'll stick the picture up obviously in a second if you're interested from a technical standpoint I had a two-stop hard edge graduated filter and a six-stop filter which gave me an exposure time of about three and a half seconds which really gave me that glassy quality on the water because it is windy um, and I really want that smooth lovely wonderful reflections uh, no polarizer, 
and yeah, I think I was on about F10, F11, somewhere around that mark. <sighs> really hard. One of the hardest videos, not the hardest photo shoots, but the photo shoot's quite fun. But trying to bring you guys along, that's the difficulty. That's the hard thing. <laughs> so yeah, finally got an image I was happy with. So I'm going to end the day as it began, and that is in the rain, <laughs> it started chucking it down again. And uh, there's no colour in the sky, so I think that's it. Just the one image from today. Ah, oh, but what a beautiful day it's been. Tomorrow morning is my last morning here, but the weather forecast has, turns bad again, it looks like the winds pick up and the rain comes in, everywhere it's raining tomorrow morning. So whether or not I'll do anything tomorrow, I don't know because tomorrow really is a travel day. I've got to get over to Birmingham for the photography show and prep for that. And that's going to be interesting, so um, I look forward to that. So we'll see, but I think certainly for today I'm going to call it here. So I'm sorry this, uh, this shoot has been a bit all over the place, but you can blame the tides. <laughs> Making my life a nightmare. But thank you so much for watching. Yeah, until next time, bye for now.